Coming back to Flint was a little uh, disheartening for me. I went to the street that I grew up on, and many of the houses are abandoned and dilapidated. The city has shrunk tremendously over the last 20 years. It was a little sad for me. I'm Deborah Fur Holden. I'm a CS Mott Endowed Professor of Public Health at MSU College of Human Medicine in Flint, Michigan. I knew I always wanted to work in the health field. I've always wanted to make a difference for people, especially in the area of health. And I thought I was gonna do that by way of medicine. So I went to Johns Hopkins University, which has the leading school of public health in the nation. And, you know, very shortly after being there, I sort of stumbled into public health. I'd never heard of public health. I thought, this is where I belong. It's the intersection of health and community, which is what really matters to me. But instead of dealing with health at the level of individual, we're dealing with health at the level of the population and the community. In our center, the Flint Center for Health Equity Solutions, we've literally brought the stakeholders together from different arenas, different sectors, to collectively figure out how to create solutions around health equity for the city of Flint. But the things that we're doing and what we're learning and the things that we're building in Flint very much are relevant for other parts of the state as well. So Michigan State is primely poised to do this work, starting in Flint, but then also moving that work across the state. The work that we're doing here is helping to build a model for how you rebuild, repair, and restore a city. Something interesting happens when populations shrink. Typically, people will leave a community, and there are two things that mostly don't change. When they leave, they don't take their houses, and when they leave, they don't take the liquor stores. So what happens is, as a city decreases in size, you end up with lots of vacant properties, which is a big problem in Flint, and you also end up with an oversaturation of liquor stores. So one of the projects that we've undertaken is policy-level interventions. So putting policies in place that will restrict the number of liquor stores that you can have in a community as a function of the population in that community. Because one of the things that happens is when people leave, the grocery stores leave, and then people look at the liquor stores oftentimes as places to get food. But it's not quality food. People shouldn't have to get their food from a corner store or a liquor store. And we can actually regulate that with policy. What brought me to Flint? What had me make the decision to come to MSU and specifically to come to Flint was the strong partnership and the amazing will of the community of Flint. With the resources from MSU, the investment from the Mott Foundation, researchers like myself and others coming in, we are actually joining the fight. And Michigan State University is the only institution in the state that has that unique combination of factors and caliber of researchers and staff to pull that off. Healthy people become more productive members of society. If, as we improve the health of Flint residents, that ups the state for the economic improvements in the city. People who can go to work and people who can be actively engaged in the community because they have optimal health, not only become productive citizens, but they also contribute to the vibrancy of the city. Health is a right, it's not a privilege. And where you live shouldn't determine how long you live and the quality of life that you get to live.